The holidays are fast approaching. I mean, it's time to bring up the decorations from their dark places of the basement. You hardly ever go down there. After all, it's only used for storage. That's all it is. Yet, when you swing open the door, something doesn't sit right in your mind. You gaze down the dark stairway that's only lit by the open door, making you wish that the light switch sat at the top of the stairs instead of the bottom. You try to take as quiet of steps as you can. Every time you put your full weight on a step, it lets out a heavy creak, echoing through the room. You flip the switch once you reach the bottom, the single set of fluorescent lights struggling to illuminate while laying off an abhorrent buzzing noise. You make your way through the cloth boxes and bags. The light becomes less prominent the further back you go, being blocked by boxes. Your heart rate increases as you see strange unsettling things that form inside the shadows. You try to quickly find what you're looking for to get out, but speeding up just may have caused you to miss what you were looking for. You end up wasting more time having to reread the labels. Frantically looking, you accidentally kick something, creating a loud clank that causes you to freeze in place for a moment. The thought that whatever you feared to be down here, it surely knows you are here too. You try to shake away the thought and desperately try to find the right box that you're looking for, causing you to become even more sloppy, creating this continuous loop, eventually trying to convince yourself that there's nothing wrong. Your heart drops as your body is filled with dread. The very thing that you're afraid of happening begins to unfold. You hesitantly turn your head, praying that it's not what you think it is. Hi, my, my name's Lucas. Oh, I hope you liked my attempt at being spooky. To be honest, I don't think I have that scary of a voice. Anyway, I'm here to ask and answer the question, why do basements and attics scare us? Now, if this is a fear of yours, then consider this as a coping mechanism. If not, then maybe you would be afraid by the end of this video. I don't know. Personally, I find trying to figure out why people have certain fears creeps me out more than actually having a fear. And just like Tigger, I want to scare myself and everyone else. I don't know how many of you got that reference. If you like this idea, do let me know and subscribe to see more. So why do we find basements and attics creepy? Granted, not all attics and basements are created equal. Everyone uses them for different reasons like storage, another bedroom, a man cave, where to hide bodies, wait. And they even have different entrances that give off their own specific vibes. So this will be very subjective, but I've tried to keep it as broad as possible. Now, whenever I ask people for their thoughts on what makes these scary, a point everyone has made is the fact that it's often dark. This seems like an obvious one. Why we don't like the dark comes from lack of vision, leaving us not knowing what could be down there. Who knows what could be hiding in the shadows? Now I believe that the unknown is the source to a lot, if not all, what makes things scary. Hence why the dark scares a lot of people. Now relating this to basements and attics, these are probably places you go to the least amount in your house. Unless that's where your bedroom is, you brave soul. They're kind of disconnected from the rest of the house. Basements and attics have their own singular way to get to them. You wouldn't accidentally go down all those stairs to get to the basement, and most definitely not the attic if yours is a lever pull down one. By the way, I do find these attic entrances to be the most scary. Just staring up into a black hole in the ceiling, making you feel small and not having the high ground if something were to come out. Now basements have the opposite with staring down into it. One of two things come to mind that makes this scary. It could be when you descend down, you're putting yourself into a vulnerable position, removing yourself from the high ground. <laughs> the joke was funnier the first time I'm sorry. The other thing which taps into what scares me is the fact that it leads you down under the house, underground. Now I could probably make a completely other video on how being underground is scary, mainly because I'm still trying to figure out how to put it into words, but this is something that has made basements sit in an odd way with me. Basements being underground, giving off a claustrophobic feeling to it. Which is also why I don't think I'll ever go cave hiking. Which is something I never realized I was afraid of until I watched the Magnus archives. Before the story even started to go downhill, it already made me uncomfortable by the idea of being in a cave. Especially the idea of cave diving. No thank you, I do not want that. Attics can also be pretty claustrophobic, but more in the fact that you can only have so much space in a roof. And they're often filled with insulation. Now just for fun, let's do a quick debate on which one of these is more creepy. 
Now, first I thought that basements would be way more creepy than attics, especially after the whole fear of being underground. Along with the thought that you're more likely to hear someone or something from the ceiling than the floor. But then I thought, what if hearing something actually makes it scarier? Think about it. Now, if you're in your room, home alone, and something is in your basement, you'd have zero knowledge of it being there. So what is there to fear if there's nothing indicating the idea that you're not alone? Now, footsteps from the attic assures you that there is something amiss, but you don't have all the clues to know what it could be, leaving room for the imagination to make you even more scared than not knowing anything. But which one do you find more creepy? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I know being scared of these spaces doesn't make as much sense now, mainly because a lot of people use them as extra living spaces, or in this person's case, a pool basement? Pretty cool. But it also gives me some cave diving vibes. Ah, anyway, I hope this video eased your fear. Or gave you fear. Whatever you're here for, I hope this helped. Or entertained you. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have an interesting day.